I'm losing it now at this point too. Like, I just want him home. Like, this is ridiculous. He's not a criminal. Leah Smith's son, Julian Adame, is a student at the University of Redlands who was traveling in Japan when he was arrested nearly nine months ago. Smith says the U.S. Embassy in Tokyo told her it started during a night of bar hopping. He's being woken up in another bar that he doesn't even remember going to and being told that he broke a lamp and he has to pay $1,000. Smith says her son got scared and tried to run off to get help. The police officer had grabbed his arm and it snapped back and hit the officer in his chin. She says he's now facing a charge for obstruction of the performance of official duties and he's pleading guilty, prepared to pay a fine. But Smith says the case keeps getting pushed back. And it's just not fair. Like it's a simple case. Let's just get it done. Adame was traveling on his own after completing a study abroad program. A spokesperson for his university tells us we are aware that Julian Adame remains detained in Japan. We have been in contact with local and international law enforcement agencies in Japan to ask for status, express our concern, and offer our assistance. Adame's friend Kate Emmons planned to meet him in Thailand after his trip to Japan. Instead, I actually flew to Japan to visit him. She went to see him in jail. We just looked at one another and cried and um, just basically wept for 10 minutes. Months later, Emmons and Smith remained determined to bring Adame home. Smith says the embassy in Tokyo is forwarding letters from her son. One of them reads in part, I love you so much and think about you all the time. I'm scared and want to come home.